Hey guys, today I have five tips, tricks, and hacks for you to make the most out of closed captions in Final Cut Pro. If you've been living under a rock, perhaps you don't know that if you have a newer Mac with a silicon chip, one that starts with the letter M, you can now select your clips in your timeline, right click, and transcribe to captions and automatically in a snap, get closed captions on your video. Now, if you're on an older Mac with an Intel chip, you won't have this functionality, but I am going to show you a shortcut for getting auto transcribed captions here into Final Cut Pro. But whether you've got that old Intel chip or the new silicon chip, I've got lots of tips for you in this video, including how to translate those captions into other languages for free. Okay, let's dive right in. So let's start with that first hack for getting auto transcribed captions here into Final Cut Pro. If you're on an older Mac, one with an Intel chip, try this. You can upload a video to YouTube and you may have to wait a little while for YouTube to auto transcribe the captions for you. But if you're not on a tight deadline, this is a great hack. Just select the video that you've uploaded to YouTube. It doesn't have to be public and head on over to languages and select edit subtitles. Then press edit timings and you can see all of the captions with the timings here. Click the options menu with these three dots and select download subtitles. Now you're gonna get what's called an SBV file. YouTube used to deliver you an SRT, which you could bring right into Final Cut, but recently they've changed this. It drives me crazy. So there's an extra step. There are free SBT to SRT converters online. I found this great one from Arizona State University. Thank you. And I will link this down in the description. And all you have to do is take that SBV file and drag it into this window and it'll automatically convert it for you. I'm just going to name the file what this video topic was and hit save. And then back here in Final Cut Pro, go to File, Import, Captions, and select that SRT file. And you can see that all of my captions are dropped right into this video. That brings me to my next tip. You see, I've got this vertical video here and some of these captions are just so crowded in this narrow aspect ratio. We can easily break these up into separate captions. So let me select this one here. I feel like it's really long. I'm going to select it in my timeline and head on up to the captions inspector. And I'm just going to break up this text into separate lines where I think the breaks make sense. And so now I've got it broken into three lines. Watch this in my timeline. I'm going to select that clip, right click and hit split captions. And it's split those captions where I made the line breaks. It's into three separate captions. Now the captions are all going to be the exact same length that divided that one long caption into thirds and they may not be timed perfectly. So what you can do is just play back. And then just like with any other clip in Final Cut Pro hit T to enable the trim tool. And then I can just change my cut points there. All right, let's move on to my third tip for you. This one's not really a hack, but if you want to make these closed captions look more stylized, so they're not just the plain black box with the white text, you don't have that ability in Final Cut Pro natively yet, but there are third-party tools that allow you to do this in a snap. The one I'm going to show you today is called Caption Animator from a small company called Intelligent Assistance. This video is not sponsored. They don't even know that I'm making this video, but I like Intelligent Assistance because they're nice guys. They come to the Final Cut Summit and they support Final Cut Pro users a lot. And they have really interesting tools like the one I'm about to show you. So what's cool about Caption Animator is you can make your captions look however you want using the tools you already have in Final Cut Pro. All you need to do is design the way you want the title to look. So you can drop in a basic title and just change the parameters here in the text inspector. So the scale, the font, the color, the whole thing, or you can grab a title template from within Final Cut Pro or even a third party title template. I'm just gonna grab the energetic one here that comes with Final Cut Pro. And in the title inspector, I'm gonna switch it to bounce in and change my formatting. And I'm also gonna move these titles toward the bottom of my frame, not too far though because YouTube is gonna put all sorts of text underneath here. So that's what they're going to look like. Now let's access Caption Animator by heading to our workflow extensions. This is this puzzle icon at the top left of the UI and select Caption Animator and we get this new pop-up window. From here, you need to navigate to the project you want to add these burned in captions to. 
and just take that entire project and drag it into this window. It's going to automatically detect every title you already have in that project, and it's going to ask you which one you want to reference for these titles. So the before and now basic titles are actually part of my video. It's this new one, Title Energetic, that you just saw me create. That's the one we want to use, so I'm going to click inside that yellow circle. And then down here at the bottom, you have some options. You can adjust how many characters are in each title. And you can choose to have all of your titles as individual elements, as connected titles, or if you want to build a secondary storyline, which means that all of your titles will have that like bubble around it and it'll all be more one unit. Let's leave it on secondary storyline and hit go. And now we're going to get this pop-up window. It's going to ask us which library we want to import to. So what's going to happen is Caption Animator is going to create a new event in this library and a duplicate of that project we're working on with these captions inside of it. So just select the library, hit choose. All right, let me close that window and you can see in my sidebar that I have a new event with today's date. And inside that event is just a new project with the original title, plus it says plus titles at the end. Let me double click on this. And now my entire video has perfectly timed captions. Now the original captions are still there, but what's interesting is because I limited the number of characters per title with Caption Animator, those titles are shorter and faster than what Final Cut Pro had made for me. So I can disable those original captions by selecting them and hitting V to disable them. And now I have stylized captions in my video. Caption Animator costs $19.99, but you have to buy it through the App Store. And the App Store has been imposing some pretty hefty fees on some purchases lately. I don't know if you've noticed that. So I think I paid just over $30 for Caption Animator. Uh, but I think it was worth it. It's a great product. It's super useful. And it's something that Final Cut does not yet do natively. Speaking of things Final Cut also still does not do natively is translate your captions into other languages. I have to believe this functionality will come someday because the technology is definitely out there. But you know how it goes. <laughs> Now this process you're about to watch is a lot of steps. I will give you that. The easiest way to go about this is to pay for a service that does this for you. But if you're looking for a down and dirty way to get it done for free, I got you, let's go. So this process starts with downloading those subtitles from YouTube. You already saw me do this earlier in this video. Just to recap, select the video, hit languages, edit timings and download that SPV file. So now we've got our SBV file. This time I'm going to right click on it, open with the text editor. Now I can see all of that text here in this text editor. Now what we're going to do is head on over to Google Translate. And I wouldn't use this little window here. I would actually click where it says Google Translate. It gives you 5,000 characters. And I'm just going to copy all this text and paste it in this field. And I'm going to translate to Spanish. Now we need to get this back into the SRT file. This is where we're getting lots of steps. So I'm going to copy this translation by hitting this button here, open the text editor again, and I'm going to paste this text here and close out of that window. Now, once we've opened that captions file from YouTube in the text editor, it kind of breaks the file. So it no longer recognizes it as an SBV file. So now we have even more steps. I'm going to head back to YouTube. We're still on languages and I'm going to look for the Spanish translation here. YouTube is now doing this thing where it's automatically dubbing your videos into other languages. So the dub exists, but the subtitles do not. And if you don't see the language you need here, you could add it using this button. So I'm going to select Spanish. I'm going to look for manual subtitles and hit add, and I'm going to upload that captions SBV file we just modified and then download the subtitles again. And one more time, we're gonna bring that SB file back into our free translator. I'm gonna save it to the desktop, open up Final Cut Pro, add on up to file, import, captions. And now I have Spanish subtitles in my project. Now, if we open up the index and head on over to roles, they're labeled as English, even though they're Spanish. If this was confusing for you and you need to keep track of the different languages you're doing this process for, you can select all of those captions, right click and select duplicate captions to new language, select the new language, so Spanish. And now you've got three versions of your captions and you can delete 
the ones that are in Spanish but are labeled English by selecting them all and just hitting the delete key. Okay, that was a lot. I know the last one is a lot simpler and it is a native function in Final Cut Pro. It's not a workaround. You can actually burn in your closed captions into your videos on export. They don't have to be a sidecar file. So let's head on up to the share button export file and under roles, you're going to look for your caption settings here in blue. You just click on that and select which captions you want to burn in. So in this case, I'm going to do English and I'm going to hit OK. And now here's my short with my captions burned into it. I have to believe you learned something in this video. What surprised you the most? Let me know down in the comments. I truly love hearing from you. I read all of your comments. In the meantime, I picked out a video I think you're gonna like right here, and I'm gonna let YouTube pick out something it thinks you're gonna like right down here. Thanks for hanging out.